Okay, this is Kieran. And this is Troy. And we are the producers for Sustain. Sustained is a hard-hitting drama that deals with the aftermath of a racially motivated attack, the devastation that it wreaks on a family, and how one young man tries to find justice for what's happened. I used to be fine. Content even. But that all changed. He killed my little brother. We've got some fantastic cast and crew involved. Here are some of them to say some things about the film. I'm Brett Dewsbury and I'm playing Kieran Flank in Sustain. My name's Sam Woodall and I'm the editor on Sustain. Hi, I'm Laura Emerson and I'll be playing Cairo Marshdale in the film Sustain. My name is Ernest Vernon and I play the pub landlord Carl Penfold. Hello, I'm Louise Hewitt and I'm playing DC Porter. A lot of the folks involved we've worked with before, there aren't any new names or faces at the moment involved in the cast or crew. It's all people we've worked with in the past, guilt by association. We know people's capabilities though, we know how good they are, we know they always deliver, whether it's cast or crew. I, it's just, it's as well, like working with a director like Dave Hastings, who's obviously um, been a part of the award winning Check In Him, which won a Best uh, British Film, I believe. Yeah, London Film Awards 2014. Yeah, and just working with a guy who's got a really good vision um, for like quite a few genres, not just sticking with just the horror genre, like he's exploring different genres and I think using his image in this film, I just generally think it's going to be a really, really good film. It's something completely different to what I've ever done before, uh, which uh, was quite uh, intriguing to have a go at it. Um, I liked the, um, the crime in it and how gritty it is and how... Um, true life it is for many people. It's different compared to other projects I've worked on. It um, explores um, a lot of deep themes such as discrimination and racism. Um, it explores how to cope with grief. Uh, it uh, explores different sides of a story as well um, from both the side of a victim and a perpetrator as well. So it was a very interesting script and I got really interested in that. You'll see the theme of um, grief, grieving heavily, um, around Kieran's character who has to come to terms with the loss of the biggest um, figure in his life. Uh, so you'll see all the five stages of grief. It's a hard read, the script, at times. Um, but I think that's why I like it so much because Dave's never afraid to go straight in there with, with the hard hitting stuff. Um, and uh, that, that's what really makes Sustain what it is. Um, it's fabulous and it will make the audience uncomfortable at times. Um, but that's really good. And one of the first things that popped off the page for me was the characters. Dave writes really good characters. Uh, Kieran just comes to life. Not this Kieran. The character Kieran in the story. He just comes to life. It isn't even the story, is it? It's not my story. Okay, all right. I just want to make sure that we're okay. All right, yeah. The, the lead character played by Beck, Kieran, he just pops off the page. He comes to life just in the words, the way it's been put together. Uh, his interactions with his brother, Toby, are fantastic. And having looked you know, through the script, um, I, I think the audience will be uh, on the edge of the seats, entertained with this British gritty type drama. It's, it's, it feels more real, if that makes sense. It feels more real than a lot of the other ones that are out there. And I think that if you read the script like, like we have, you see that it is very real. We've worked with Dave in the past. Um, I worked with Dave on the award-winning check-in. Eh? Uh, we both worked together on The House of Screaming Death. So on the back end of that, Brett had approached Dave with this story idea. The two of them developed it. It became sustained. And then they started thinking about putting it into practice and we're going to invite them on board as producers. Yeah, I don't know about you, but um, the first time when I initially read it, I thought it was amazing. Um, it just brought me to like, some of my favourite British films like um, 
Neil Thompson's club, um, Shane Mathers' Dead Man's Shoes, the kind of like whole um, the revenge theme. Yeah. I think it's got this... a really nice Harry Brown ethic going on there as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the West Midlands is very rough around the edges, it's a working class society. Um, so we've got these experiences that make us, I suppose, help tell um, British stories, I suppose. I think it's kind of in our blood, in our, you know, in, in, our, in our DNA. And I think that, that honesty, that uh, truth to life experiences are going to help uh, tell it apart from the other films in the same genre. We have to really go for raw emotions with a piece like this and I think um, I think it'll do well. I mean, it's, it'll bring out the best of both the cast and crew because it's such a touching um, subject, really. I think it's because it's going to be true to itself. Um, it's not going to pretend to be anything that it's not. It, it is a Midlands-based um, drama, suspense, thriller. It has local talent. It's fantastic. The, the characters and dialogue, they just pop off the page every page you turn to, it's amazingly good. I think what's good about this script as well is there's so many characters that are well developed. We care about each and every one of their motives and what they're going through. Um, if we look at, um, obviously, Kira, who's obviously going through like, the worst thing you could ever experience. Do you have any idea how long it's gonna take us to film all of this and do it justice? But that's 103 fantastic pages. Agreed? Agreed. I think it's got potential. I know the crew behind it. I know they're passionate about what they do. I know that they're committed to what they, they do. I know they want to work on this film. And yeah, I'm just, I really believe that this can be a really good, um, a really good film. It could be, it could be a really good creative um, endeavor to follow. And. Yeah, I just I, I do I do believe in the project. It's, it's got everything in it. It's got great characters. It's got uh, it's great drama. It's um, it gets you really invested, and you're going to be hooked all the way through. People are so passionate about it, and uh, it's going to be a great uh, film to watch. Um, and the end product is going to be brilliant. The story's there. The cast are there. The crew are there. We just need the funding. It's it's. It's really important that you look at who's directing it and who's um, who's initially wrote it. But when you've got like such a good director like Dave, who's wrote it along with like Brett, who's like the lead actor in this, Kieran, um, I just think you, you know it's going to be good because of the people behind it, and I think um, people will get a good film regardless because who is behind it. And I was just really really happy to be a part of it when I was asked. I don't know if you Absolutely, you can't beat good British film. And um, when you get to the small independent filmmaker, of course, you need all the resources that you can get your hands on to make a quality film. There are different perks, so you could, fr from as small as having a, a shout out on social media, all the way to being involved with the film in a in a big way. So um, it'd be great if anybody could. Uh, donate a few pounds towards towards what's going to be a great film. Most of the money for the film is going to be spent on expenses, so travel, accommodation, uh, locations, equipment, food, and so you know that's where most of the money is going to be going towards. And I'm putting some money towards it myself to help support the film and get it off the ground and get it rolling. So if you contribute to the crowdfunding campaign, we've got a fantastic array of perks for you. Take a look at the side, there's a perk for every wallet. Right? If you can only contribute a quid, that's great, we've got a perk for you. If you can contribute a hundred pounds, we've got a perk for you. Any donation, small or high, we appreciate it. It all goes to a good cause, and it goes towards our art, which I think is very important. Absolutely. I mean, we're trying to produce something that, A, we're going to be proud of, B, shows, again, the talent that's available here in the Midlands, and we want you to be able to say, I helped make that. That's gonna be cool. Uh, please, please, please uh, donate whatever you can to this film. It's gonna be a great film. I'm really looking forward to it and I know everybody else is. And yeah, just give what you can because the end product's gonna be brilliant. Head over to social media. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We've got all the 
different pages, so like and share it. So people, if they wish, can invest in local talent and see what it brings out on screen. In um, House of Scrimmage, I'm sure it's going to be very good, win a lot of awards. I've got my fingers crossed, it's a really, really good film. Check it in, award winning um, British film in the London Film Festival. If that work is any indication to go by, then you can expect nothing less from Sustained. It's going to be fantastic. Stick around folks, you're not going to regret it.